Good morning friends, I am Ranganathan. I am studying PGPBM course in IAM Trichy, Chennai Centre. Today I am going to speak about topic on GST which is a part of Indian economy and policy subject. Everyone is aware of that, that GST was introduced in India on 1st of July 2017. Friends, as you are aware that there are 195 countries in the world and 160 countries has introduced GST. The first country to introduce GST in the world is France. Subsequently, Japan, Korea and many countries followed. Malaysia and India were the recently introduced GST. So I'll just give you the background of GST. There are 1300 goods and 500 services are available and Indian government has made four tax styles tax lab structure which are from 5% to 28%. The fast moving consumer goods are classified in 5% and some of them are classified in 12. The manufacturing goods are in 18%. The luxury goods and tobacco are classified in 28%. As you are aware that in the basics of GST there are three kinds of category which are CGST, SGST and integrated GST. Uh, the difference is when you sell from Maharashtra to Karnataka, you will be charging IGST which is from one state to other state. When the products are sold within the state, SGST has been, SGST and CGST will be levied. So this is the structure of GST. Coming to the advantages of GST, GST is a transparent tax and many uh, taxes has been removed and multiplication of taxes has been avoided by the introduction of GST. For example, excess duty, entry tax and then municipal tax, these kind of uh, taxes has been removed and there is a single structure has been introduced in the face of GST. So this has certainly improved the economy as well as the conception has gone up substantially. The production of goods and services are also there is no doubt in increasing and the consumed service. Friends, this has also led to the movement of goods in a faster way where in, in the initial stages like the truck, even truck has to cross each and every border, they have to uh, show their respective details and documents to the check post and this has saved a lot of energy and time for the consumers as well as the manufacturers. So these check posts were ideally removed and the movement of goods has been much faster than as it was in the previous scenario. These are all the some of the advantages of GST and GST is uh, backed by a GSTN number which is fully integrated tax platform to deal with all aspects of GST. Also, as you are aware that there is a multiple tax has been avoided in the introduction of GST. Say for example, when you manufacture a good and you pay a tax of five, 500 rupees at the, for while selling it, whereas your input you would have paid for example 350 rupees tax for the raw material, the final amount which you will be paying to the government will be of 150 wherein you will reduce the tax which you had purchased on account of the raw material. This is some of the examples of and advantages of GST. The items which are likely to get cheaper on which are become cheaper after the introduction of GST or like two wheelers, televisions, uh, washing machines and many other consumer goods. Yes, there are also certain disadvantages on GST like uh, uh, you know the mobile bills has gone up, the property tax rates has gone up, the aviation industry airfares has been increased from 6 to 9 percent, uh, the real estate market there is a drop. So some economists say this would impact negatively on the real estate market but this is only on the temporary scenario. It is likely to get recover uh, from the from these issues. I hope I could able to give some insights on the GST. Thank you very much for your patience and thanks for listening. Good day.